On Monday, the first criminal trial ever of a former American president got off to a, shall we say, sleepy start. New York Times reporter Maggie Haberman appeared on CNN with Jake Tapper, where she reported some unexpected news from the courtroom where the trial, the people of New York versus Donald J. Trump, is taking place. Maggie, I have to ask, you guys have been, at the Times, have been live blogging uh, this uh, event. And 40 minutes ago, you wrote an observation that, that uh, I, I was very surprised. Trump appears to be sleeping. His head keeps dropping down and his mouth goes slack. Tell us about that. Well, Jake, he appeared to be asleep. And, you know, he repeatedly his, his head would, would fall down. There have been other moments in other trials, like the, uh, the Agent Carroll trial, which was around the corner uh, in January, where he appeared very still and seemed as if he might be sleeping. but. Then he, then he would move. This time, he didn't pay attention to a note that his lawyer, Todd Blanche, passed him. His jaw kept falling on his chest, and his mouth kept going slack. Now, uh, you know, sometimes people do fall asleep during court proceedings, but it, it's notable given the intensity of this morning and a lot of what was being argued. A few hours later, once the news regarding President Trump's troopy head and slack jaw had made it to other media outlets around the world, Haberman followed up on CNN with this update. And you were, so you were actually in the room for that. At one point, the pool said that he was glaring at you for several seconds. You had reported shortly before that during a break that, that he appeared to be falling asleep at one point as the proceedings were getting kind of tedious. Uh, did you notice that? Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I, I noticed it. He uh, made a, a pretty specific stare at me and and walked out of the room. Um, I've been on the receiving end of, of said you, glares. I know you have. Um, I have too. I, I reported earlier that he had appeared to fall asleep. Now we had seen him, and I want to be clear that lots of I've seen lots of people fall asleep in courtrooms. I've seen jurors fall asleep. I've seen judges fall asleep. Um, if uh, if anyone falls asleep who's a criminal defendant in a case, we're going to report on it. Um, but. He doesn't like when such things are reported, and I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know, that that's what this was about. Needless to say, there were a few amusing reactions to all this hubbub. Well, just to, to Rachel's point about the, the campaign dynamics, the optics of all this, and the, and the um, <clears throat> sustained eye resting that apparently happened in the courtroom. I mean, I do feel like if you, if you call your opponent Sleepy Joe, you have one job. Stay for the late. rest of the campaign, yeah. which is like, you gotta like <laughs> clockwork orange there. those puppies, <laughs> like open at all times. Hey, Jake. <laughs> What part of head down, eyes closed, drool coming of his mouth do you not f***ing get over here? He's snoring. He's doing the hong shoo. He's doing the me, 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 me. There's a piece of paper going up and down and up and down in his mouth. He's asleep. Imagine committing so many crimes, you get bored at your own trial. Move on to the good stuff. And here's one of my personal favorites from the Bulwark podcast. I fall asleep before the plane takes off. I can fall asleep in any class, almost at the dentist chair, anywhere. But only a sociopath passes out first day from an old crowd. I mean, Think about it this way. When is the real. last time that Donald Trump was in a room for a prolonged period of time? Yeah where he did not have control over his entry and exit. He could not speak unless spoken to. And he was not the center of attention. And that's on only day one of this trial. We've got weeks to go. So I can only imagine how many more crazy stories we have to come. Stay tuned.